September is the month for fall harvest and to learn some fall planting techniques. In today's exciting episode, we go over all this and a lot more. Let's begin with all the September harvests we made. Ash gourd. We really like growing ash gourd because of its good taste and the many vitamins and minerals it has, especially when you make juice from it. We've been growing ash gourd in raised beds and we are picking them now. This one isn't super big, but they come in different sizes. Here's what we've picked. It's called ash gourd because there's a layer on it that looks and feels like ash. When you touch it, you'll get some on your fingers, which is pretty cool. Here's our second one. It's a big one. And you can get both really big and small gourds from the same plant. This particular one is 6 pounds and there's an even bigger one still growing. Asparagus beans. They're also called yard long beans or Chinese long beans. They taste really good and are full of good stuff for your health. They are a bit tricky to grow because they need hotter weather and a lot of water. But they're really good for you. We've got a bunch of asparagus beans we've just picked and there's still more growing on the plant. Bush beans. We grew all our bush beans in a green stock planter. It's pretty easy to grow a bunch of beans in this planter. Bush beans grow up fast in about 40 days and are simple to pick. Look at our bush beans. They look great. We planted the seeds in the green stock vertical planter, set up an automatic watering system, and it went smoothly from planting to picking. They are crispy and taste best when they are fresh. That's why I think everyone should try growing bush beans at home. Check out the ones we've picked. They are crunchy and taste great. Eggplants We like them in the summer, but they also grow in the fall. We are first picking the Black Beauty eggplant. They are big, good looking eggplants. There are more on the plant. This one is growing in a whiskey barrel container. Since it's late in the season, you can see some bugs called spider mites on the leaves. We've got another kind, the Indian Udmalpate eggplant. It's alright, not my top pick, but we've got a good amount of eggplants from it. We're also picking the Thai green eggplant from our raised bed. They look great. Look at all the different eggplants we've picked. They look good, right? We had a purple long eggplant growing directly in the ground. These eggplants not only look good, but taste great. We also got more of the Indian type eggplants. We got quite a few, which is good. When they start turning a bit yellow, it's time to pick them because they are ripening too much. Here's another bunch with different types of eggplants we have picked. Bottle gourds. These are summer vegetables that continue to give fruits until the start of fall. Growing bottle gourds in your home garden is a good idea because they can get pretty big without much hassle. We've got ours in raised beds, but you can plant them directly in the ground too. We recently harvested a few and as you can see, they're really looking good. In just a couple of days, we'll be back to harvest more. These gourds can get really big, like the ones that we just picked. Yellow strawberry or lemon guava. This is one of the tropical fruits I really like. The yellow strawberry guava, also called the lemon guava, gives tasty fruits around September. It's a nice fruit to have as the fall season starts. The one we have is in a pot and it's giving some really tasty fruits as you can see. Okra We have the Nombo giant okra plants in our raised bed. I had some issues with their growth, but we still got a decent harvest. These okras can get big, as you can see. The plant itself gets pretty tall and gives a lot of okras. But there was a problem. Tree roots got into our raised bed, taking water and food meant for the okras. You can see the result. The okras are alright, not the best. If any of you had a similar problem with raised beds, let me know in the comments below. Check out the okras we picked. They look pretty good. Peppers We began with the purple beauty bell peppers in our raised bed. 
These purple ones are simple to grow, become a good size and taste similar to the green ones. It's fun having them in the garden because of their bright color. We are harvesting all of them now. We also had some green bell peppers in a vertical planter, the Greenstock Classic planter and got a few from there. Here's our first bunch. They look good. We also grew the Anaheim chili peppers in a pot. It's easy to grow peppers in a container of about 5 gallons and get a nice yield. These Anaheim chili peppers grew very well. They're mild in taste and great for cooking. Here's what we got from the pot. We also grew some peppers right in the ground, between our wall and the yard's edge. They turned out well with some large ones too. We harvested more from another 5 gallon pot and some barrels. We had more in our raised beds, especially the green ones, which gave the most. They grew well, resulting in big bell peppers. Here's all the different peppers we harvested. We also had a bunch of cayenne chili peppers. We let them mature until they turned bright red. They look really good and you can eat them as they are or dry and store them. Here's a harvest of spicy peppers. Pomegranate We picked pomegranates from our Parfianka tree. We did it this month and there's still some more left to pick. If you haven't tried these before, they're tasty with soft seeds. I'll be sharing more about this type of pomegranate soon. Snake goats We've grown quite a few snake goat plants on our raised beds and there are various kinds of snake goats as you can see. This batch right here is our first pick of snake goats. There are more snake goats still growing on the raised beds that we are picking now. These long and pretty snake goats taste different and not everybody might like it. I'd say give the snake goats a taste test before deciding to grow them in your backyard. The vines of the snake goat aren't super strong but they'll still give you a good amount of goats even in a small space. And here's what we've collected so far. Some good looking snake goats. Moving on to ivy goat. We've begun picking ivy goats from our plant in a pot. They're not growing as fast now probably because of the cooler fall weather, which is normal. We are also picking more ivy goats from a plant in the ground. This plant seems to have some bug issues like aphids. Lately, I have only been using water to spray my plants. I hope the aphids go away soon. Here's our harvest of ivy goats. They are fresh and they look good. Tomatoes Getting tomatoes in fall? Yes. It's warm enough in Southern California to get tomatoes even in September. We're first picking the Indian heirloom tomatoes. They're big and are good for both sandwiches and various recipes. We've covered some tomatoes with organza bags for protection. I'll share some links later so you can get these bags to keep pests away from your tomatoes. If you see tomatoes with a bit of yellow or red, you can pick them and they'll ripen inside your home. Check out how big these tomatoes are. This is our first batch of tomatoes. We also have a San Marzano tomato growing in a pot. This one is giving us many tomatoes even late in the season, which is nice. And you don't have to wait for the tomato to be fully red to pick it. Here's another bunch of tomatoes we picked and they look really good. Ridge gourd. As the fall weather is setting in, the ridge gourd season is wrapping up. Ridge goats, also called Chinese okra, are tasty but need to be cooked before eating. We're now picking a few ridge goats from the plants on a trellis in our raised beds. This is the first batch of ridge goats we've picked and they turned out well. In just a few days, we picked more, showing how many ridge goats these plants can give. Here's another batch of ridge goats we've collected. They look great. Next up, We'll talk about fall planting. The fall season is a good time to plant vegetables that like cooler weather. We are starting out by putting spinach seeds in this box. It's a type of spinach from India that has soft leaves and tastes really good. You might find this kind of spinach at some Korean grocery stores as well. We are planting 9 seeds in here. They should start growing soon. 
then we are planting carrot seeds we are using a carrot type called romance which is a nantes type of carrot we are trying to spread the seeds out evenly in this big container it's important not to plant the seeds too close together but you can always thin them out later if they are too close we are covering the seeds lightly with either peat moss or coco core you could also use straw or hay after that give them a light watering make sure the top layer of soil stays damp all the time until the carrot seeds start to germinate which might take up to 15 days water them every day if the soil dries out the seeds might not germinate for our third planting example we are doing something different we want to see if we can grow cilantro using only compost as the growing medium we have a good batch of homemade compost that we are spreading out in a basket meant for root pruning the compost isn't very wet right now so we are adding water to get it ready for planting it might be a few hours before the planting mix is ready after a few days you'll notice these little cilantro plants starting to pop up and they are looking good now we are focusing on getting our raised beds ready for the fall season now which is the fall season is the perfect time to get your raised beds ready for planting first we are adding worm castings we get ours from a place called vermistera they are good quality and i can give you some links to buy a lot of it at once if you buy it in bulk it's cheaper and with my discount code cag you'll get 10% off and free delivery we are spreading the worm castings all over the soil in the raised bed i like to mix it into the soil this adds good stuff to the soil which helps plants grow better after that you can plant seeds straight into your raised beds or pots now is the time to plant your seeds for the cool season crops like carrots radishes and beets if you've already got some plants growing inside it's time to move them outside to your raised beds or pots here you can see plants like cabbage cauliflower kohlrabi all cool season crops that are great to grow in this fall weather and make sure you water them well after transplanting before you know it there will be a lot of lush cool season crops growing in your garden and there we have it if you like this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments put them in the comments box below until next time Happy gardening.